Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, everyone. Welcome back to week two of our holiday devos. Uh, I sincerely hope that you guys had a great Christmas, that you enjoyed it with family and friends around the table, around the tree, opening presents, hopefully playing some games, laughing a lot. I really, truly hope that your Christmas was amazing. And as, as I've thought about mine, as I'm thinking about you guys in your own homes and, you know, traveling if you are, I've realized that, you know, part of what makes Christmas great, and it, it's fun to get gifts, it's fun to give gifts, it's fun to do different holiday meals and all the traditions we have. But one of the things that makes it the best is that we get to enjoy it with some awesome people, with our families, with our friends. If they weren't there, things just wouldn't be the same, right? Like actually some of you know, you you didn't get to celebrate with certain family members. You couldn't travel like you normally do because of the current pandemic that we're still moving through and navigating. And you missed those people. Like you felt the hole, you felt the gap with not having those people as a part of your Christmas celebrations. So you know now from personal experience, it's so much better when those people are there to celebrate with. It's, it's better when we have uh, highlights in life to have people around us to enjoy it with or walk through it with. On the other side, when there's really tough stuff that goes on in our life, which many of us have gone through a pretty wild year with uh, pandemics and politics, and that's not even getting into things that may have gone on in your personal life and in your family, we've gone through some tough stuff. And you know that one of the ways that you make it through those tough things is actually with people who are around you. You could probably look back on some of the hardest parts of this past year or your past five years and look at those hard things and look at the people that God placed around you and realize like, man, maybe you wouldn't have made it through or at least in the same way without certain people in your life going through those things with you. Maybe you've actually had times where you had hard things going on and you felt like nobody could know that you couldn't share it with anyone and you were carrying those burdens on your own and you, you knew at some point that you couldn't do it any longer, maybe you're even sensing that now, we're not made to do life alone in the hard things. We need people around us. We need people with us. And we're also not made to, to celebrate things on our own. We need people to enjoy things like Christmas right alongside us. And so here's kind of where we're going today with this Devo, is we actually have someone who is with us at all times. It's God himself. He came to be with us. Emmanuel is one of the names of Jesus, and it actually means God with us. And where we find it in the Bible today is in our passage from Matthew chapter 1. It's verses 22 and 23. And this is when Mary and Joseph are just finding out that Mary's pregnant. Uh, Mary finds out, and, and God lets her know uh, how everything's going to go, and his name's going to be Jesus. But Joseph, you remember, they're not married yet, which kind of adds a whole extra layer to this thing. And Joseph is thinking, wait, how did this happen? What's going on? And he needs some reassurance. He needs a, really something from God, a, a message, a vision. He actually gets a dream from God explaining to him what's going on, that yes, this is of God. Um, and what we see here in verse 22, it says that all this, this is right after Joseph's dream, all this took place to fulfill what God had spoken by the prophet. In verse 23, what did the prophet say? Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means, in parentheses, God with us. Jesus, God in the flesh, God in a bod, came to be with us in every sense of the word, right? He came as a baby, humbled himself. Have you ever thought about that? God on the throne came not just humbling himself as a human, but in the fullest extent, a baby who needed their diapers changed and everything taken care of for them. He came to be with us in every way that it means to be a human. From a baby to the temptations to the hardships and struggles of this world, he experienced it all even to the point of death. Why did he do that? Well, part of the reason is to say, hey, I've experienced it, and I've experienced it right alongside you. I know what it's like to be a human. I know how hard it is. I know the temptations. He gets it. We can have a lot of uh, encouragement just in that truth alone, that God gets what we're going through because he experienced it himself. But Jesus, he, he didn't just leave us that way. Remember, he dies a human death, one of the most gruesome, if not the, the most gruesome death of all time. 
He dies a human death, but he raises again three days later. And once he leaves, once he ascends to go be with God the Father, it's not like, okay, God was with us and now he's not anymore, but he actually sends his Holy Spirit to continue being with us. In fact, the Holy Spirit lives and dwells within us. So that now, no matter what we're going through, the highs of life, the lows of life, the mountaintop peaks, the deepest of valleys, and anywhere in between, God is truly with us his people. So consider that this holiday season. What would happen? What would change if you started to become more aware that, hey, you know, no matter what I'm going through, no matter what phone call I get, no matter what pops up on my social media feed or a text message, no matter uh, what the conversations are, whether it's good or bad, no matter if your family's traveling or you're staying at home, that God is with you. God is within you, the Holy Spirit, for those who have put their faith and trust in him. What would happen if you just became more aware of that? That God's there, he's listening. That God's there, he's, he's ready to speak. That God's there, he's ready to give you direction and discernment. There's so much that we could talk about here, but I'm gonna ask this morning that God would just make us more aware of the reality that he is, Jesus is, Emmanuel, God with us, and that the Holy Spirit now dwells within us. Let me pray. God, thank you so much that you sent your son, Jesus, God in the flesh, to come and be with us, to do life with us, to experience the temptations that we do, the hardships that we do. You get it. You get it, God, and that is so encouraging. That's good news. God, I pray that this holiday season especially, that we would remember that no matter how maybe lonely we feel, not with our friends or not with certain family members, that you remain with us. You are within us. So help us to become aware of your presence, aware of your voice, aware of your direction. Help us to always remember that you are with us. It's in Jesus' name we pray, amen.